Hello everyone and welcome back to Taylor Cafe. My name is Isaac and we're back playing some Tech World 2. So last episode we made the induction furnace which is now at 100% heat. So if I go quickly grab something that we can cook, like uh, I think we can cook aluminium ore in a normal furnace. Possibly not, maybe. Yeah, look at look how fast that thing cooks in comparison. So if we just like split that up evenly. Look how fast this cooks compared to say if we put six things in this guy over here. Which is like <sighs> <sighs> It'll get there eventually, don't worry. Or we can just take it, run over to our induction furnace, and just be like, boom. That stuff just gets done fast. So uh, what I want to do with this episode is I kind of want to get a power storage unit for um, Industrial Craft. Because I kind of want to move into Industrial Craft a bit more than I have done in my other series. Because Industrial Craft, um, I don't really get into it much in some of the other series that I do. It's not in, it is in Feed the Beast Monster, but I don't really use it too much. And it's not in like... Um, any of the Technic packs. So what I think I'm going to do is kind of play a bit more industrial craft in this one in Tech World 2. So I think I should probably start that by making an energy storage unit. Now uh, if we go to at industrial craft 2 there are a few um, energy storage units but um, I was going to go for the MFE uh, like straight off I was thinking because there's Batbox, MFE, MFSU and CESU which is down here. I think the CESU is kind of new and um, the Batbox is sort of the lowest here. It can store 40,000 EU the MFE is sort of the next one up, it can hold 4 million EU, and then the MFSU can hold 40 million EU, whereas the uh, CESU can hold 300,000. So the CESU is kind of above the back box by quite a bit, but below the uh, MFE by quite a bit as well. So I was going to go for the MFE, but it takes actually four, it, it takes four of these crystals, four of these energy crystals to make an MFE. And each one of these energy crystals takes nine of this dust, and then nine of this dust requires four diamond dust, which is got by macerating a diamond. So you need four diamonds per thing. So you need 16 diamonds to make the MFE. And then an MFSU is an MFE. Plus, I think each of these Lapitron crystals takes one of these crystals. So that's just like a bunch more dust. So that's like 16 plus four times six, which is 24. So like 40 diamonds, maybe, to make the MFSU, which is just insane. It's an, an insane amount of diamonds to make that stuff. Whereas if we go with a CESU, zero diamonds. <laughs> No diamonds needed whatsoever, we just need a lot of bronze. We need a lot of bronze, and I think that's about it. So we need five bronze plates, some copper cable, some advanced RE batteries, which is just bronze casing, sulfur, pure lead, and copper. Now, um, sulfur-wise, I don't think we've got that much sulfur. But what we can do is uh, we can start making some diamonds. Now, there's a way using industrial craft, using coal, this thing here. We can, make, uh, we can make a coal chunk and then compress it down into a diamond. Now, to get a coal chunk, we need some compressed coal balls and obsidian. And to get compressed coal balls, we need a coal ball and then compress it. And to get a coal ball, we need pulverized coal and flint. Now, the good thing about this is that pulverized coal actually gives us a byproduct of sulfur. So what I think I'm going to do is grab some of our pulverized coal from somewhere. I'll grab some coal, shall I say. It takes a whole stack of coal to make a diamond. So I'm going to grab a stack of coal and start pulverizing it in the pulverizer over here. And uh, at the minute, I don't think we have what it takes really to make like a vast amount of diamonds. We do need obsidian, but what I want to do is get um, some tesseracts set up, hopefully at some point. Now, um, and the reason I want that is because if we get tesseracts, we can get an infinite source of lava pouring in. And then once we've done that, we can make pretty much infinite obsidian which is pretty nice because then we can use that along with our coal um, and if we can get the coin moving again because I don't think it's been moving for a while we should probably work on that but if we can get that going along with the obsidian and stuff we can get a bunch of diamonds so I do think we have at least one obsidian hopefully somewhere we do so we can probably make ourselves one diamond for now but I'm not really bothered about the diamond because you can see we've got 14 in here so we are pretty close we probably could make an MFE this episode if we pushed it but um, that's not what I want to do what I want to do is I want to make um, a CESU for now a CESU. We'll move on to the MFE if we feel the CESU is not enough. But for now, I think it's fine. So a CESU takes a bunch of bronze. Now, I don't think we have any bronze, but to get that, we basically need, uh, I'm pretty sure it's just tin and copper. Yeah, pulverized copper and pulverized tin. Or oh, I think you used to be able to just craft tin and copper together. I think you still might be able to, actually. Let's go see if we've got some upstairs. I'm pretty sure we do. Tin. Oh, we've got a bunch of tin. Where's all our copper at? Uh, do, 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 do. Do, do, do. We've got to have some copper somewhere. Copper's like the easiest thing in the world to get. Um, my volume seems a little bit loud. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Nothing in there. Is all our copper downstairs? Am I just blind? It's usually the case. I'm usually just blind. Really? No copper? 
Um, I don't know if I set this up this last episode or not, but I've got a little portal now that takes me from uh, underneath here back to uh, the base, which is kind of nice. Um, oh no, copies in my inventory. Wow, <laughs> wow, I'm just I'm just really blind. So I'm pretty sure it's like this will also get us bronze. Yeah, look at that, cool stuff. So let's take say 24 bronze. Now we need five for this, and then in order to get the advanced RE case, uh, RE batteries, we need sulfur, pulverized lead, some copper cables. Now, do we have copper cables? I don't think we do, but I'm pretty sure we've got a bunch of uh, copper lying about. Not a bunch of copper, a bunch of uh, rubber, so we can make a bunch of copper cables. We've got five here, and we've got loads. We def oh yeah, we've definitely got a lot of rubber, haven't we? We've got like the um, the tree farm sort of like just overflowing with rubber at the minute. Uh, we've got some copper item casings, but that's not really what we need. And we've got a bat box. Do, 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 do. Four charm I'm going to need. It's only got 13 uses left, but I think that might be okay. Maybe we might need another one. Uh, oh, I totally forgot about my actual chest full of stuff. Uh, 23 copper cables, four hammer. Let's take our rapier back. Oh, you know, I forgot about all this stuff. Diamond pickaxe, we'll take that. Uh, I'm going to have to get some sort of sorting system going soon. I'm pretty sure what I'm going to do is I'm going to go try and get a full AE system going with this series instead. Because um, on my other system series, you've probably seen, like, um, if you watch them, that is. Um, Monster, I went with uh, logistics pipes, and then Attack of the B team, I went with uh, just straight-up thermal expansion stuff. So what I'm planning to do with this one is get, like, a nice AE system going. So we need at least five of these to start off with, uh, just for the outer casing. Then we're going to need... Doo -doo -doo -doo, Right, each one of these, okay, so we need uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, five times two, 15 bronze item casing, and so we're going to need eight bronze plates, okay. So how many uses do we have left? Oh, look at that, perfect number of uses left on that thing. Got eight uses left on this, like that, and then we can just do those straight into this, and then I think we might be on track to make the CESU if we can get ourselves... Some sulfur, there we go, far sulfur, cool stuff. And we've got some pulverized lead, I think we're going to need a little bit more. Just a little bit, because we need, uh, we need three, don't we? So let's just grab a piece of lead, throw it in the pulverizer. We need three lead, three pulverized sulfur. Let's throw that in there. So we've got that, now I'm pretty sure we need flint, is the next thing on the list, if we want to make a diamond. So let's see, do we have some flint lying about? I'm pretty sure we should have. Uh, do, 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 flint. Maybe. There we go. Uh, we'll take, I think it's eight flint, maybe. Eight seems pretty high, it might not be eight. I might be right there, it might be eight. Yeah, there we go, eight flint gets us eight uh, cobalt. And now we can just throw these in the compressor, which will get us eight compressed cobalt, which we can put around some obsidian to make the um, coal chunk, which we can compress into a diamond. Good stuff. So let's grab this thing, which will have smelted straight back into a lead ingot. Wow. That was a good waste of power. I love it when we waste power, when we just put stuff in the pulverizer and straight into the smelter. Happens all the time. Right, let's make three of these. And let's make one of these guys. Now, these don't stack, so I don't think the NIE shift click is going to work. But we should be able to do this. Awesome. And also, this thing looks pretty cool as well. Look at it. It's orange. <laughs> yeah. I like this fax texture. I love it. So let's put this thing. I wonder if we can put it just here next to this and like get rid of that copper cable sort of thing. Do we have any torches? Because it's very dark in here. I don't like it being dark in here. Dark is. Dark equals mobs. Always. Dark always equals mobs. So let's just see if we can throw this thing down like here. Now I'm pretty sure it's going to be multiple inputs and one output. So let's get. I think we're going to need a um, an industrial craft wrench, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, is just this. Yeah, there we go. So that's how you get an industrial craft wrench. The other wrenches probably won't work on industrial craft stuff. And I think all we've got to do now is just right-click on the side that we want the green bit to face. And that should, if we put um, something in there that we can burn. Can you put wood in here? We can. So is that going to give this power? It is. Okay, cool stuff. So that's going to give that power, and if we were to say disconnect these two, or just that one, it should just gain power now. Awesome. So this thing can output 128 EU per tick, so anything that we connect to the copper cable should be fine, which is nice. So all these guys should be okay with that, I think. Cop oh, actually, I'm not too sure. Let's have a look. Um, 
Now, I know if you try and make uh, an MFE, this thing outputs 512 EU per tick, so you're going to need a, a transformer to lower the vault, to lower the, I don't know, EU per tick, I guess, um, so that the machines don't blow up. The same is true with uh, an MFSU, which has outputs a massive 2048 EU per tick. But then again, there are some machines like the Mass Fabricator that can take that much and actually work a lot faster when they've got that much power going to them. Um, see, the Batbox only does 32 EU per tick. Let me see. Do these things tell me? Oh, yeah, okay, so this says 32 EU per tick max. Right. Should we go for a moment of truth and see if we just break stuff? <laughs> I really don't want to break stuff, but I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna break stuff. Okay, nothing's blown up. So I'm happy. And now the fact that this thing outputs 128 EU per tick means I think it's gonna keep the um induction furnace pretty happy most of the time. Uh, where is the induction furnace? It's over here. This thing, 128 EU per tick max. So at the minute, this thing could be running on max capacity. Uh, but it, because nothing's happening, nothing's getting done. Okay, so that's looking good. Let's quickly move the overclockers into this guy. Or the overclocker, the single one we've got. Uh, I'll probably make some more of these, actually. We could do with more, definitely. I do like overclockers. Because these machines get... Like, industrial craft, it's good. But um, early on, I think thermal expansion is better. The thermal expansion machines are sort of easier to use and work better but then if you can get overclockers in these things these guys work a lot better like the macerator if you can get i think it's eight or maybe 16 overclockers in there like whatever the max is um the macerator works so much faster than the pulverizer it's unreal and then once you've got like the um induction furnace actually i wonder if we have the like no um there's a mod that adds like um better versions of all these machines like it adds um a rotary macerator and a uh, a better compressor, I can't remember what it's called, that work like the um, induction furnace does, and they sort of just work super fast. So this is almost done. And then once this is done, that, we can just craft this around a piece of obsidian, like this, and compress this into a diamond. Awesome. So, how are we doing for power? We seem to be pretty low on power. I should probably put something in here other than wood, but I'm just going to put wood in here for now. Um, what were we looking at last episode? We were looking at water mills, weren't we? Or, um, yeah, water mills. I might look into making, like, just a bunch of water mills and see how much power we can get from these guys. I mean, a generator is not too hard. A bunch of iron plates, an iron furnace, some more iron, basically loads of iron, tin. Let's, let's try this. Let's make, like, a bunch of these. Let's see how many of these we can make, first of all. Let's just make a bunch of them. So, I'll take... I'll see what I can make with like a stack of tin, a, stack of, a few stacks of tin maybe, some stacks of iron. Let's see what we can make. Let's see if we can make anywhere near any, any map power. How much do these things output? Something ridiculous. Zero to two EU per tick max. That's what I'm talking about. That is the creme de la creme of uh, EU per tick is uh, <laughs> zero to two. Yes. <laughs> wow, I think this thing outputs, what is it, 10? 10, 10 max? What we should probably actually do is... Um, Focus our energies on maybe trying to get some solar panels. Let's have a look. Solar panels. Uh, low voltage, uh, medium voltage, high voltage. Uh, we'd need normal ones, wouldn't we? Because I think low voltage is just eight normal ones. Yeah, it is. Okay, so say we want to make some solar panels. See, I like solar panels, but they're so, like, such a long crafting chain. We need to wait for the coal with us to pulverize, and we need to smelt a load of glass. We need to get a load of generators, which is a load of iron plates, and a load of RE batteries, which is tin casing, which is iron plates, uh, tinning, tin plates whatever it's long so what do we have in terms of like applied energistic stuff actually let's have a look what do we have we've got a few we've got a few uh, quartz so it is quartz i don't think we can make this stuff we can make it into box um no we can't really make this stuff let me have a look at some applied energistic stuff because we can kind of automate this um automate the crafting of stuff with applied energistics um, we'd need an ME controller, which is some nether quartz, redstone, and ceratus quartz. Now, we've got nether, we've got that, we've got that, and we've got, some, I'm pretty sure we've got some redstone somewhere. Must have. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so we probably could make the ME controller, and then we'd want an ME access terminal. Um, then we'd also want maybe an ME chest. But then in order to actually craft stuff, what we need is to make a... Uh, I think it's a minimum of a 3x3, three three, um, I don't know what to call it, an ME, use the ME containment wall with uh, heat vents, crafting CPUs, and I think it's um, pattern encoders, I think. 
and these are all rather expensive. I mean, we'd need, what is it, 3 by 3 so we'd need 9, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26 of these, I think, which is more than we have quartz at the minute anyway, of this, this uh, Curtis Quartz stuff, or Curtis Quartz, or Curtis Quartz, I don't know. But, um, okay, so Applied Energistics is out the window. Let's make some water mills. Let's just go simple and make some water mills. Why not? <laughs> Why not? It's early game. Water mills. Let's see. Okay, so wood, sticks, and a generator. So let's make a bunch of generators, shall we? Let's just do this. So get us eight of these. And then we'll turn all these into these. Or at least as many as we can. And then it's like this, isn't it? There we go, make a bunch of those. Now, well, let's get another hammer. Which shouldn't be too hard to make. Sticks. And then it's just sticks with iron round. Gets us another hammer with 80 uses on it. Awesome. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a machine that does this for us. There's something called a metal farmer, which we'll look into at some point, because I definitely want to get to doing some of that. Um, you can, I'm pretty sure you can make plates and wires a lot easier without having to make these hammers and stuff all over and over again. So we'll make a bunch of, we'll just make all of those and then we'll take all of these and turn half of these into stuffs and then into stuffs. And then we need, oh, we need some wires. So let's grab our wire cutters, which I'm pretty sure are upstairs, probably in the chest. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Apparently not. We do have some insulated tin already. Oh yeah, there we are. Okay, let's use these guys. Let's make some tin cables using this and this. Let's make all of those. Probably far too many considering we need like four, but oh well. <laughs> do, 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 we'll make, I don't think we need templates for anything really, do we? No. So let's make six of those. We've got six of iron furnaces, why not? So we've got iron furnaces, uh, can we make these? I guess so, there's six generators, we could just use these. See these things output 10, oh but they take coal don't they? I was going to say these output 10 EU per tick which is like 60 EU per tick max now, whereas these things output 0 to 2. But then again they run on water so I guess it's a little bit better I guess. Let's just make a bunch of wood and then a bunch of sticks. And then we'll craft a bunch of wood and sticks, like this, to get us 12 water mills. Awesome. Now, I've no idea if these work faster in running, in running water? Running water? In uh, running water, or if they just like work better in just water, or, or what? I'm not sure how these work at all. But what I think I'm going to do here is just sort of clear this out a little bit. This is an infinite water source, I should be. Ooh, what's this? I don't know what that was. I think fluorite. That's another thing. We should get into some reactor craft and some rotary craft and stuff. I haven't really got into that yet. Definitely uh, on my agenda. All right, let's see. Do we have a bucket on us? No. Okay. Let's go grab a bucket. And this should be an unlimited water source, so we should just be able to do this. I think what we might have to do is push this out again, like this side, so that it becomes a 3x3 three three, and then put the, um, the water mills down the middle, maybe? It might work like the accuracy accumulator sort, uh, accumulator sort of thing, where it's just sort of, if it has water blocks either side, it'll work fine. Gosh, this is slow. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's get some iron, which I think will probably be upstairs, yeah, in the ingots chest. And we'll get ourselves do, 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 three of those. I don't think we have a bucket anywhere. Oh, I don't know where the bucket is, should I say. Let's do this. There we go. All right, and then let's just put it on the edge like this. This should slowly start to make the whole thing sort of like still. Now, like I said before, I don't know if it becomes better if the water's running. I don't know if that makes it easier for these water mills to work or makes them work better somehow. Um, do they have to have a bucket in them? Or does putting a bucket in them just give you a free bucket of water? Or do we have to put a bucket filled with water in them? What? Stored. Four of four EU. Do you not just put these? I thought you'd just put these in the water and they'd just work. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're gaining power. They're gaining a little bit of power. 
Okay, do we have some copper cables left over? We do. Okay. Let's, um... Do we have a shovel? No, of course we don't. Let's just break it with our hands. Why not? Why not? Right. Okay. Let's see. Let's just watch the power just flow on in from all, all this power we're getting here. So this should... <clears throat> Let's see, we're getting power? I think we're getting power. The, well, the coal generator's not getting any power. Oh, look at that, we are, we are getting power. We're getting, not a massive amount, but I mean, whatever eight times by four is, probably, or eight times by two, we're getting 16 EU per tick, which is slightly more than we were getting from the generator. I think I might just add um, one or two more onto the end of that. I think I'm gonna change this a little bit just to, to that. I don't think it matters that it's touching the, uh, the generator too much. Yeah, I'll go and I'll put this thing I'll add the other four to the end, and then we should be gaining a nice amount of EU per tick. Totaling 24, would it be? Did we make 12? I think we made 12, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, because we got 16 EU per tick at the minute, we'd have 24, so we'd be like, we're more than doubling what the generator was giving us. And this is all for free, this is renewable, this is constant energy supplied all the time. So that's pretty cool. Let's get these set up real quick. Like... Uh, do, 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 do. Where did my bucket go? It's probably still in here, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Let's do this. Like that. Let's break these. Oh, oh. there's a reason I left that pot gun in a chest. I didn't want to keep making portals. I wanted to leave that nice uh, pathway we've got open. Alright, let's just break these guys. Connect these up. And put these in. So apparently I think you could probably do it where you just... If you don't have it near water, you could probably just put a bucket in there and it'd work. I guess that's what that's for. Like if you just want to have it on land somewhere or in the sky and put a bucket in there and generate water, generate power even. I guess, maybe. Uh, but yeah, there you go. We get, we're actually gaining somewhat of a reasonable amount of power, I guess. We should be gaining about 24 EU per tick. And I think I'm going to call it there, guys. So there we go. We've got a free diamond. Look at that. We've got a lot done this episode. We've got a free diamond. We've got a bit more power going. I think I might just try and like get a metric butt ton of these and just sort of like line the earth with these <laughs> if we make like 500 of them that's like what 2000 EU per tick that's like enough to power an MFSU a little bit <laughs> so uh, yeah if you did enjoy the video be sure to hit like and I will see you guys next time bye bye